Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is your first time joining me, welcome. I'm so glad that you have found me. Um, share share my videos with other people and then that way we'll, um, we'll be able to craft and share more with other people. In any event, also if you are on a... Um, Facebook group, make sure that you give uh, StreamYard permission, and then that way I will know who I'm speaking to when um, I do go live. Now, this is a replay, so if I do talk to different people, um, it's just because it was all part of a live. So, today, hello, Kay. Oh, awesome. Kay is just saying that she received a gift today, and hopefully you don't have that stamp set. Um, Kay entered into either a sketch of the mystery challenge and her name was drawn um, randomly last month. So she got a stamp set in the mail. I'm sorry it took me so long to do that. That's awesome. Keep on entering. You could win more and more. Now, I do give away stamp sets or product when it's for people that live in Canada. But if you live outside of Canada, I can give you a tutorial as well. In any event, I am so glad that you've joined me. Um, hello, um, Pam, Pam, can you, um, personal message me? Um, I know you had asked about the virtual launch. If you could personal message me, um, we can get you in on doing that on Saturday as well. So like I say, if you do live in Canada, don't have a demonstrator that you're working with, we have a virtual launch coming in on Saturday. And basically, we're going to be going from 7 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock at night. You're a part of a Facebook group, and you can um, enjoy those videos all day long. We're going to be giving lots of prizes away and everything else. But in any event, let's get going. So tonight is part of my Now What series. So you've got something in your um, craft room, and you go, what do I do with all that? And I think this is probably one of the biggest dilemmas is people with designer series paper. I'm just going to go right on down to my desktop here. Designer series paper is amazing, but this designer series paper that I have in front of me is the designer series paper that you can get as a level two in celebration. And that's this designer series paper. Now you get 48 sheets of this paper. There's also one in the mini catalog where you get 48 sheets of this paper and there's one in the annual catalog. Um, that's a host thing. This is part of celebration. And I'm not sure if Stampin' Up! is going to continue to do this, but it's a really great buy when you um, go into this designer series paper. Now, the deal is, is that, like I say, if you um, spend in Canada $120, you, will, you could get a level two, and this happens to be a level two, 48 sheets. Now, 48 sheets, you can probably use four or five sheets. Now, what are you going to do that? Um, and you're going to go... Hello, Marjorie. Hello, Felicia. So you're going to go, what am I going to do with that paper? Honestly, I, I have a project that you can do. And this is kind of a fun project. So if you have things, people that you just want to give them a little something, you could put baking in this, but I'll show you what that is. Um, I had done this. Oh, heavens. I can't even think. I think it was back at the beginning of March of last year. I don't know if I did a video for it or not, um, but it's called a loaded envelope. So this is one way that you can get rid of, um, hello, Carol. This is one way that you can use up your designer series paper. Now I happen, and anybody that does know me, they knew that I love Coastal Cabana and pool party and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to use these two pieces here, but oh, it's got such funky paper. This is fun paper. I know um, our make and take, um, one of our make and takes for our launch, this is gorgeous, is made with this um, designer series, part of this designer series paper. But it has, it's really, the, it's a soft palette. It has the fresh freesia in there. Um, but anyways, we're going to use this one. It has balmy blue in there. I would say these are more... Um, well, not quite this one or these ones, but mainly more the subtle and maybe some brights in there as well. So I'm going to take this out here and we're actually going to go ahead and use that. And I see I've got something here from yesterday on here. So I'm just going to take that off of there. Now, 
I'm going to show you, I hope, a way that you can actually um, use this. So like I say, this is called a loaded envelope. So what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in my, my scoreboard or my trimmer. Probably the scoreboard is probably better, but, and you need one piece of 12 by 12 paper. So what a great way to use up your 12 by 12 paper. So I'm gonna come in and we're gonna score this at three and a quarter. on that side and then we're going to score it three and a quarter on the opposite side just like that and then you're going to also go at three and three quarters now originally what i was thinking of doing tonight was i was going to do like those gift bags right but this i thought is something i haven't shown i think for a long time all right, so scored three and a quarter on this side, three and a quarter on this side, and on one side here is three and three quarters. So we're just going to go in and let's just go in and use our foam folder. And we'll use a foam folder on this side. And this happens to have this scored right. I'm going to fold it this way. So I'm not going to fold it where the crease is. I, yes, I am going to fold it where the crease is. I'm going to fold that up. We're going to get a good score line there as well. Now, what I want to do too is I want to come in here and I want to come down and I'm going to actually take this and put this, just do a corner there. And this is kind of looks like a bit like a collar, right? And we're going to take this back down to about here. Now, there's lots of different ways to make this, but this is one of the easiest ways to make this loaded, um, this loaded envelope. So then it's going to go like that. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to come in and we want to put some um, tear tape. Yeah. Tear and tape, and we're going to put that right down along here, right along the edge. And also, then we're also going to put it along the edge here. Hello, Margaret. And along here so like i say what we're doing if you did join us a little bit late what i'm doing is we are going and we are um wanting to use some of our designer series paper so i'm going to come in and i'm just going to burnish that down and use my take your pick tool and take this off here And I'm not worrying about getting this on here because honestly, this is going to go on really easily. So I'm just going to, this is going to glue down to that side. The only thing we want to do is make sure it's even right along there. And then we're just going to go and just do that like that. Like I say, this is just going to come down and that's like a collar fold. And then what I want to do is I want to go in here and I want to put some tear and tape from this three and three quarter inch down there. Now I'm going to leave this fairly loose. Now I could go ahead and I could tape this all down here, but my whole thought process is I want to have an extra pocket in here. So this is going to allow me to have an extra pocket. Hello, Marilyn. Now, of course, you could use this beautiful designer series paper to, um, to make cards, but sometimes you just have so much. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this like this and off to that side as well. So now it's a little gaped, 
and we have a pocket there and a pocket there. Now, what I can do is I can also turn around and I can cut a piece. This happens to be five and a half inches across there. I can cut a piece that is five and a half, um, so six inches by six and a half, six inches. So let me just cut down six inches on here. And I think I did that wrong. Anyways, I'm going to do this six and a half inches this way. So I'll give you these measurements again. This is six and a half by three and a quarter inches. It can be any depth here. So maybe three and a half inches I'm going to do there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score a half an inch on each one of these sides. Hello, Lorraine. Now, you could make this into a really cute Valentine um, thing. You could um, you could do it into a friend of yours if they join you with stamping. Um, you could do a lot of different things with this. You can make up your mind once you see this. I'm going to easily just go ahead and put some stuff on here. So I'm just going to put this like this and score that in. And then I'm going to cut out this the square corner here. So I'm just going to do it like that. And that. And here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put some tear and tape on there as well. So I'm going to put this close to the score line. There, one here. Now this gives us an extra pocket. This is not something that you have to do. And then I'm going to put this all the way across there. Whoops, on this side. All right. So I'm going to bring this pocket back in, this envelope back in. And then this is going to go, I'm going to tear this, whoops. I'm just going to bring this off by a bit. I'm going to put that up to there. Take this one up by a bit as well. And then I'm going to go in and score this really good. And while we're scoring it, we're also burnishing it too, right? And then let's go in. I'm just pulling these off because I've got to make sure that I get this centered. So just putting that on here. This is going to give us there we go. And that can come off like that. These can come off. And then that piece, and then we're just going to go in and burnish that. Now, that's also going to give us a bit of um, a pocket in the back. Now, what we want to do is we can go in. I know this is five and a half. You know what? It might even look good with um, some blue on there. So there's so much different colors in this designer series paper. So like I say, we're going to go ahead and use it. Oh, I really like these polka dots. What other blue have we got here? Hmm. 
maybe, actually, I think I'm going to do something else. I'm going to use a piece of basic white. And I am going to make it kind of look like a belly band. So this is going to be about five and a half inches. So I just go down and cut that. And this is like we're going to decorate this part. And I'm going to do mine with those valentines on there. So I'm going to wait to put that on until the very, very end. So now what I've got in here, so I've got a bunch of different things in here. I have these tags. We can go in and we can go, hi, how are you? So I could put a tag in here like this. Um, so let's just see how this is all going to come about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that country floral, this stamp set, and we're going to use these um, hearts on there and I'm thinking to myself that what might be good is just to stamp a few of those and I'm going to do it in I think I'll do it in let's see what color should we do this in we can do this in this is more of a coastal cabana and that's a pool party so let me go in with coastal cabana and pool party and I'm going to stamp the first one in, pool party. I'll stamp a couple of them. And we're just going to go ahead and use our punch. And we'll just punch out a few of these. Now, the reason I'm punching, not doing a bunch of stamping and punching, is because this also has leaves to go on it. And that's going to punch that part out. So you see what I mean? Now I'll go and I'll stamp again. I can do that closer. Stamp, punch those out as well. Don't you just love it when you have a stamp and a punch? That way you're not always die cutting. So I've got... That should be enough for that. And then let's go in with our Coastal Cabana. We could also do blue in there as well. Just quickly clean that off. So like I say, this is called a loaded envelope. It's, um, it's a great way to package up gifting. Whoops, I can't do that. I've got to punch that again. There was a really pretty purple one done with this design, but I used it all up. And I'll clean that again. And I think I might even go in and use a balmy blue. It might work. It might not work. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. But let's see how that works. So then I have to figure out what I want to put on there so I could, because I want to stamp that sentiment on that piece of basic white. Now, I always stamp with my punch up. If you have arthritis problems, it probably won't work. But um, I find I have more control that way. So what's going to happen here is that, I know you guys are shouting at me because it's sitting here, is going to be here. And this is going to go across here. So we're going to put some hearts on here. Oh, you know what? I think that balmy blue would have been good. And I think maybe I should do one more of the balmy blue. So I'm actually going to go and do one more um, lot of hearts with the balmy blue. 
And you notice I didn't do any leaves, but if I need some leaves, I can just go in and punch those. Now you could, because it is a photopolymer stamp set, you could actually punch out your, your colors and then stamp with them afterwards. I saw somebody do that. And I don't usually, I usually punch, stamp first then punch. There we go. Whoops, that slipped. But we'll be okay with that. All right. You've never heard of this, Pam. Yeah, you wait till you see how this is going to come together and how you're going to do other things. Now, what we want to do is, is there something on here that we want to, to put on there? Um, I could have also, I was thinking of doing something with this. Um, just wanted to say, I love that we are friends. Um, hmm. I think... How about hello? That might even be a nice thing to put on there. So there's that stamp set. And I won't be able to put my, my hands on it. Is the one with fragrant flowers. And I've got everything all set aside for my launch on Saturday. So that's part of something else that I'm showing. Oh, well. I will think of, let's see, what else could I put on there? I wasn't thinking of a big sentiment. Let's see. I'm just looking for big words. You know what? This could be something. I really like that hello. I think that hello would be perfect on here. See, I'm set now in my mind that that's what I want. And I just finished... I know I put it away in any event. Let's get this done. So this is going to go here. So now what I can do is let's go ahead and start um, putting this, decorating this on here. So I'm just going to put a bunch of hearts. That's pool party. I really like this blue. I think I'll put the blue there. Sending love. Yes, she could do that. Um, how about with love? But it's kind of small is what my thought process is. Um, I wanted it to be quite a bit darker. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to have lots of... Um, depth on here. go do this just gonna bring this I guess we could have done a different color in there too so I'm gonna put some down here friend is a big stamp it is this one here okay you know what Oh, here's a hello. Sorry, I really like that idea of friend. I pulled this out when I was looking for a big... I don't like these plastic things. Okay, I'm going to go and let's go and put this on there. And you know, I'm going to use Bermuda Bay because I think some of these hearts could have also been Bermuda Bay to kind of tie that in. But Bermuda Bay will show up really good with the words. Now I'm hoping that this is going to stamp okay. So let me just double check. Yeah, it's going to be okay. I'm just going to put this as hello. There we go. And let's go and put And we can go and put some of these little hearts on there. So probably going to need some little dimensionals. Got 
real mess going for me over here. Always when you have punches, you tend to have a lot of messes. So, let's see, I'm gonna put this on there. And where's my blue ones? Those two there. Now that to me needs more color. So I'm even thinking that Bermuda Bay might have been a good color for the um, the hearts. But this just might be enough with the um, this going on here. So let's just see how that works. Hmm. See, I've got that haloed. Okay, that'll be okay. So then, what you'd start to do, I'm not really happy with that. And probably I'll end up, I'll change this and we'll show you how I'm going to go ahead and ch I'll show it to you. I'll put it on my, my thing. Now, I've just used repositional tape on there because I'm going to change this probably. But I want to show you a few other things that we can do with this. So I do have um, some of these tags. So this this could go um, where you could go and put the word friend. Hello, friend. We'll go with that. I think it's what you put in this that's so much fun. So let's go, this can go here. And then this can go in here. So we also have some of that um, pool party ribbon. Let's just go put that through there. But you wait till you see how th this is a loaded envelope when it's done in just a second. All right. I'm also going to go tie this. Friend is a big stamp, yeah. Sending love, yes. But I'm going to change this. I think it needs a bit more color to it. But I just want to show you this part of it. There's such subtle colors, right? Or, yeah, the subtle colors. So I'm just going to tie a bow on this. Let's just pull this down. All right, so like I say, we've got a couple of pockets here. This can go like this. Now, think of this that you're going to give this to somebody as, um, as a gift. It could be even, this could even be a welcome to the neighborhood gift. It could be any type of a gift. So I'm going to show you a few things that we can do with this. So I went and I've got a paper clip. And I went and I tied a bow on the paper clip. So the paper clip can go up here, say. So like I say, we can start doing other embellishments on here. This could go into the back. It doesn't quite go with that color in the back. Um, but watch. Now what I've got is a bunch of things put inside. It's called a loaded envelope for other reasons, right? So I've got some Merci chocolates. So let's go ahead and put those, some of those in the back. Now, this is going to be all sort of out of proportion. Now, then let's go here. Who doesn't need dimensionals, right? So let's go in and put, well, you know what? Let's put some, a refill in here. This is almost like a Christmas stocking. So then this can go there. 
we can go in and put a bone folder. It's a friend of yours that you've just started stamping with. It'd be great to have different things. We can go and put, whoops. See, that was just sort of, this is just, you know, I'm gonna take these scissors out. I haven't bought a new pair of scissors in ages and I don't even know how to get those out. You have to, no, there we go. So let's go and put those in there. So we've got that. You could do, you could have post-it notes could go in there as well. We could have some tear and tape. So say we wanted to put some tear and tape into the back. Let's see how we're now just starting, you know, and I think we're going to take that out of the bag as well. But what a fun way. Let's put that there. And then this is here. We could put a pen in there too. We could put a notepad in there. So let's just go ahead and put a pen in there as well. Just like so. And then this is gonna go on here. And then what we're going to do is then we can go ahead and we can embellish. I say that's not on there very good. I'm going to replace this part because I'm not happy with this part. I think we need Bermuda Bay and more colorful hearts on there. So that's just going to go on there like that. Think of this too. Like think of little girls or, or girls, teenagers. You could put like little things of makeup and stuff like that in there. Now, let's see, we can go ahead and let's put some, um, do you know, I can say that this is going to go here and it's right there. And of course it isn't. Here we go. These are the um, frosted, um, solid frosted gems and they come in pool party and um, the blue. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to actually use the pool par party on here. So let's separate that a little bit so it looks like we can see that behind there. How fun, right? Yes, it definitely needs brightening up. But we're just going to go ahead and put these on here and I can always use something else. Now, I could could have even done a flower on there um, in any event. That's kind of how it's going to sit for now. Or if you want it to be where it's the focal point is all the goodies that are inside, you could do that as well. But this is one way that you could use up your designer series paper. Think of this, that this could be just a little something that you could get for Valentine's. You could put a cookie in there instead of um, whatever. When you wrap this, you would wrap it with um, with um, tissue around it and be there when they're opening it. So that's kind of a thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you grandkids for Easter? Yes, I've done that as well. You wouldn't mind getting one either? Neither would I. Uh, let's see. I'm just reading the comments here. Uh, super gift idea. Great for a door prize to a tea, a card class. Exactly. This would be a, like one of those. Oh, we got trolls here. One of those, um, those door prizes. They could be something like that. Um, thank you. Thank you, Heather. Thanks, Susan. Like I say, let's use up. And really, that part there doesn't even look that bad anymore, right? So let's go. We could take this off and just leave the chocolates in there. Who doesn't like chocolates, right? I have enough chocolates. Where you could put the chocolates into the back. You could do some other decorations here. You could do so many different things. But I have been on here for... Oh, heavens, 35 minutes already, so I'm almost over my time limit. So like I say, if there's, you know, um, you want to do something, I'd love to see your different ideas that you have this. Um, but this would give, like I say, something that's fun for um, 
for different people. So um, I know I've given it where there's been hand sanitizer in there. You could put embellishments in here. It could be like, it could be something that you do as a secret Santa, right? So, and what a great way to use up that designer series paper. It takes one full piece and then, you know, you could make up 48 of these, right? The problem is, is probably filling them. Thanks, Kay. I know you want to make more than one because you want to get rid of your designer series paper. How sad is that? Now, don't forget, if you like that, give me the thumbs up, share my video. I really do appreciate that. Um, now, um, Saturday, it, it's my um, virtual swap. And I won't be doing my sketch on Saturday. I will be doing it on Sunday at 10 o'clock. Um, remember, if you are in Canada, um, just reach out to me and we'll see if you qualify for it to be done. Thank you, Susan, uh, Sharon, or Susan. Thanks. My eyesight isn't that great. In any event, you guys, have a great evening. Use that designer series paper. Don't just sit and go and stack it up. Use this for something like this. There's lots of different ideas that you can use um, with designer series paper. Maybe in the near future, I might be doing another use for um, the designer series paper. Anyways, you guys, good evening. And we will see you, some of you on Saturday and on Sunday at 10 o'clock Pacific time. Bye for now.